Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Discipleship. Jesus would say in Luke chapter 9, verse number 23, If any man desires to come after me, let him first deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Are you a committed disciple, a committed follower of Jesus Christ? Well, we've seen in our study thus far that discipleship involves the intellect. Christianity is a learned religion, John chapter 6, 44 and 45. We've seen that it is the best way to live, and we've seen that it is demanding, and furthermore, it involves conflict. Jesus would say, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? In Luke 6 and verse 26, he would say, Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Now, I want you to think about this. If we're living a life where the whole community just thinks, Man, you are great, you're wonderful, everything is hunky-dory, there's something wrong. Because you see, the reality is Christianity puts people in conflict. In John chapter 3, Jesus says there's a natural animosity that exists between light and dark. Now, we have a commitment that we are going to be good soldiers of Jesus Christ. Listen to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 2, followed by verse 3. And the things that you heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship. Now, let's just stop there and let that sink in for a moment. Endure hardship. I didn't know that's what discipleship was about. Oh, it is. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You see, Christianity leads to conflict. Do you remember Matthew chapter 10, verse number 34? Jesus says, do not think that I came to bring peace, but a sword. And someone says, well, Christianity shouldn't be that way. Oh, yes, it is. We don't set out to be mean and hateful and spiteful, but we must set out to follow Jesus no matter what. And that's going to upset some people, and sometimes it even upsets people in our family. But it's the best way to live for this life and the life to come. Join us again for your daily 180.